Shrine slips Dreamers, but he just stays behind, obviously. Oh, there's been contact. No, this giant. Hey guys, and welcome back to season 18 of AOR. This time we are in Baku for round four. And uh, first of all, gotta you know take a moment out to just say rest in peace to Antoine Hubert, who obviously sadly passed away this weekend uh, after crashing out in Formula 2. So my thoughts are with uh, him and his family. So hopefully they can get through this very, very difficult time. And obviously this episode of the Demean March means much is obviously dedicated to him and, and his memory. Uh, so I'll just hold a little bit of silence here for, for him. Yeah, and now getting back to the racing, obviously we went ahead and raced in AOR anyway. And as you can see right now, now scrabbling on the mediums here. Um, as you can see up in the top right corner, I'm out very, very early uh, because I was fully prepared to call you on the mediums. And then some guys in my party said you could do it on the softs. And that just made me panic because obviously I want to start up as far ahead of the field as I could, so I decided to go out for the mediums and the medium run, like the second run, so in the mid middle of this session. Um, and I did an okay lap, but not the best, and then I went out on softs towards the end and I decided to break off my lap just before the finish. Uh, so I think I'm going to start like P8, unfortunately. Um, I should just have waited and gone out in the mediums at the end, I probably wouldn't have been top 5, but I mean that's just, just how it is, and hopefully I can salvage something from this low qualifying position. But uh, with that, let's get into the race. And here we are on the grid, as you can see in P8, I'm on the inside, I would rather have been on the outside. It's getting really tricky as the lights are going away here and we get an okay start, I think. Uh, we just get some wheel spin there. I started okay, but then it got worse. Seem to have survived turn one as I think Lama just went a little bit off track there. So we're going into turn two, we've got someone on our outside. Oh, and I think a Red Bull just hit a Lama there and maybe punted him into the wall. I'm not really too sure. Uh, yeah, I can see him down the mini map. He's in the wall, so that's very unfortunate. But right now we're defending from Hogwarts here. Who's gonna try and slipstream us, but he just stays behind. Obviously. Oh, there's been contact. No, this giant and who was that Vapid who's collided? What's happened there? I think Vapid smashed into the back of Giant and I think both of them are out. That's so unfortunate, especially considering Giant is DNF last time in China as well by going into the wall. So him and Walls right now are not really connected. Well, they are connecting, which is actually his problem. But uh, hopefully that can be resolved going forward. As you can see, oh no, I've locked up and I've... And I've ruined my front ring, it's, well, it's red orange, so there's no way I can salvage a top position now because I'm gonna have to pit at some point and change my front wing, as you can see already. We've got Hogwarn, who's always oh, barely can make that corner, he's gonna try and go past me. As we, he's actually trying to go past me now on the straight, which meant that I couldn't really go in the pits and I just wanted to you know, try another lap to see how bad the damage was because obviously. If I can drive around it, then maybe it'll just be better for me to actually stick it out and then pit like lap 8 or something like that. But I think, as you'll see, if you see it here in the middle of sex, I really, really struggled and I was actually close to lagging. Oh, what? speaking of lagging, Hogwarts just like lagged back into me and I cannot re-overtake him here, even though he's on the south snow, I, I can't just have to yield. But I'm going to have to pit, I think, because my... Yeah, I'm locking up so much and there's not a lot needs to go wrong before you lock up and hit the, the wheels in the castle section and then you're out. As now you can see I'm being passed by Undercut and uh, Jermo there as we go into the pace to change with the hard tires. I'm just going to try and take them you know, as long as I possibly can in this race. And uh, we caught on laser lap 9, not much has happened. Jermo I think uh, maybe destroyed his front wing as well. So he pitted, but he pitted for the mediums. So he's actually been catching me for the last few laps, now he's going to go past me, which is a little bit annoying. I, I thought that I would, you know, have some more pace, but obviously the tire difference around this track is just too much and there's nothing really I could do. But I'm going to be back on the mediums, I think, for the next stint. Bearing I can't make the hearts last to the end, we'll see, and then hopefully I can get the position back. 
But as you can see, nothing really happened. I actually broke my front wing again on that stint without me knowing before like two laps before pitting. Uh, but now I'm out on the mediums again, fresh sets, trying to take it to the end. Obviously I'm in the points already, but after the races I've had, you know, with uh, podium and, and P4 last time and good battles, I want to do well. Uh, as I don't really want to be back here, you know, fighting for single points here. We now, I think we're going to take Hawk one here. There's nothing he can do. He's on the hearts. I've got the ERS and we're just going to go past. He's even going to try and defend it. No, not really. Uh, so we are into P9 really here on lap 15 and now we're just gonna try and see if this race can come towards me uh, later and as you can see well I gained positions by people pitting and crashing out and there was some major carnage up ahead as well but nothing happened this race is pretty boring to be honest and I I mean everyone except for Sims I believe uh, made a mistake crashed uh, crashed into someone, broke the front wing, anything like that. So it's just whoever stayed clean did well. Um, so it's really unfortunate that I couldn't keep it out of the castle section and, and breaking my front wing twice because then obviously it could have been great. But could have, would have, should have the classic old saying from Callum Teasdale. So, so hopefully next time in Spain we can do better even though I have no hopes for Spain because it's one of my worst tracks. But I guess hopefully it'll be better. And con Congrats to Scott on the win. I'm, I'm not sure he's going to keep it because he had some collisions with Callum, but uh, we'll see how that unfolds. If you like the video, subscribe, comment, anything is really appreciated. And I'll see you guys next time.